I'm wearing glasses. Look how smart I am. So interestingly enough, we have some information about Decidueye. We have Decidueye's stats from Unite DB, and they actually tell us a few things about this Pokemon and probably what items will work well for Decidueye. So I wanted to take you over there and show that to you. Hi, Jake, your resident content cowboy. Yeehaw. And they're back on. So again, this is from Unite DB. It's a great site for tons of information like this. And they have figured out Decidueye's stats here. So we can see what Decidueye is like as it levels up. You can see uh, where it gets its power spikes as it evolves. It gets one spike here. I think at level, what is it, five? Yeah, level five, it gets kind of its first little power spike. It gets some crit rate at 15%. Uh, it also gets a, a little boost to its attack. And then another big one here at level seven is its next big increase when it evolves from Dartrix into Decidueye. So we can see a couple little stat pops there as it goes. I wanted to just pull it up to level 15 here so we could compare it to another Pokemon in the game and we could kind of see exactly where this Pokemon falls. Now, for a little while here, it's been rumored and speculated that this is sort of an AD carry, basically like a Cinderace or a Greninja. You can see how it plays and you could definitely make that assumption. So I just wanted to take a look at these stats and that way we could show you exactly why that looks to be the case. So you can see the HP at 5152, attack at 450, its defenses. You can see by level 15 and actually at level 13, is it? No. Where is it? At level nine, excuse me, it gets 30% crit rate. Uh, so basically 30% of your basic attacks are going to critically hit. We don't know how many of its moves actually critically hit right now, but we know all of its basic attacks can critically hit up to 30%, which is pretty huge, especially with the move like Razor Leaf that lets you hit multiple targets here. I think running a scope lens on Decidueye is probably a must. And if you look at these stats at 15, they're actually directly comparable to someone like Greninja, almost identical stats, like literally almost identical in every way. Very similar to the Greninja Ninetales situation we had recently. The stats are almost the same and very, very close for Cinderace as well. You can see all three of these Pokemon get 15% lifesteal and 30% crit rate at level nine. So that's pretty huge uh, for these Pokemon. And probably the biggest thing that I'm learning from this uh, whole thing is the Decidueye is filling that role exactly like we expected. It's that 80 carry, you're doing a ton of damage with your attacks. That seems to be the role that Decidueye is going to fill. It's going to be Decidueye, Greninja, and Cinderace all kind of fighting for that position inside of a match, those three. I'm personally really excited about this because I know I know the game needs more of an AD carry inside there, so I'm really, really excited to see it. And because of that, I actually think you're going to be able to... Oh, do they let me put a build together for this one? Hold on. I wanted to see if I could. Yeah. So I'm thinking here for Decidueye, we can actually pull up the build here on Unite DB. This is really fun. You could pick your moves. You'd probably go Leafish, then Astonish. Uh, I'm guessing for the AD carry build, it's going to be Razor Leaf, but we don't know because it all depends on how much damage they do. And then it's possible Shadow Sneak, and it's also possible Leaf Storm. Again, we're not sure which one is going to be more important because this shoves enemies and decreases movement speed. And then this one here uh, deals damage, decreases movement speed and defense. So this could be really, really important depending on how much it decreases it. For now, we'll say, sure, it'll be Shadow Sneak. Why not? Razor Leaf, Shadow Sneak. It could, prob it could probably be either way. And item-wise, we're probably going to see a Muscle Band. We're probably going to see a Razor Claw. Oops. Let's get them both on here. And then we're probably going to see a scope lens. Battle item, whatever you like. I run a eject button on just about anybody here. So with all the basic attacks you're doing, muscle band feels like a no-brainer. With that high critical hit rate, scope lens and razor claw are both really reasonable options. Depending on the cooldowns here, we do have 10 seconds on this and 12 seconds on this. Given that the cooldowns are pretty high, 
Let's see Leaf Storm, eight seconds. These high cooldowns, you could probably get away with not running Razor Claw here. And instead of doing Razor Claw, you could stack an attack weight. You could have a focus band, which might be very important. It has low health. You could have a buddy barrier for its Unite move. And since you do have to stand still for its Unite, I could actually see a setup like this being pretty reasonable for Decidueye. But I just thought it was interesting to bring you those stats here and give you an idea of how this Pokemon might build item-wise. I'm very excited for Decidueye coming out uh, as I'm recording this tomorrow, but I might release this video in the morning. So coming out today at 4 p.m. PST. I'll be streaming it live. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Glasses off.